everybody. Um, the raid is over today, I don't know, four or five hours from now. Um, I got the ship. We started building one. I'll just give you an idea of sort of what I'm planning on using it for. Um, my my goal is a blitz fleet. That's the long term goal is a base blitz fleet. Base blitz fleet. But if you go straight there, it's gonna take you forever to build. Oh my god! If you put siege cannons on here, I think uh, people were talking on the forums that it could take over a hundred days to build five ships. So my theory is build it in stages. So the first goal of these ships is for the next raid. Uh, because I told you I built, and I did a little video where I didn't have any sound because my son was taking a nap right behind me, so I just threw some music up there. Um, I've been talking about doing these um, uh, sea scorpions, but since they changed up the way, the, the, since they changed up the way the raid works, this is only moderately better than what I already had. And then we we'll also realized that you can for the sea wolves if you have the master fixer during events you can put a titanium one armor on it so i think i did that for most or all of them i think they should all have it by now um, so it, it is not it's not a lot of armor but it's like a hundred more where they normally only like 550 for a ship so a hundred more across five is basically the armor of one of one more ship not a lot but just a little bit, just a little bit, and any edge, any edge you can get is is good. Um, what I also did right before the raid was I took off the hailstorm because I had it ranked up by then, and put another gun on it. Um, so my theory is, <laughs> and you see how my theories go. Usually, so far my theories for the raids, as soon as I have a good theory, they change up the raid. Um, Keep keep this. What I will probably do is change the enhanced warhead to lasers, because my gar my goal at that point will be these will be used for the fleets. And then if I can come up with, if the next raid is in less than 30 days, I will not have five of these. If the raid is um, um, about a month and a half away, I might have five of these. But even four would do, should do really, really well. Um, it has layered armor one now. Layer two just finished last night. Yes, it just finished last night, and I just started a layer three armor. So that'll be done about midway of the second boat. So the second boat will have layer two armor. Third boat will have layer three armor, and then I'll just go refit one and two. Um, so let me just walk you through what this is. The engines that'll always stay, auto loaders that will always stay, layered armor will get upgraded, and then for the raids, um, using the missile defense armor, the light one, because honestly, for a raid, something like this, I'm not gonna. It's not likely to sink the boat, so go with something that doesn't take as long to build. I still get the same plus ten missile defense. So I end up with uh, missile defense of 48. Ballistics will be a lot higher when the layer three finishes out. And then, um, and then after the raid, the idea being that um, we switch out this armor to something heavy. I don't know if we'll stick with ballistics or if we'll, I mean, stick with missiles or if we'll go to um, uh, explosive defense. It all depends on what I think I'm going to hit. If I think I'm going to hit defense fleets that have ballistics on it, like the Goliaths, then, well, that's for that. If I think I'm going to hit a lot of assault missile ships or bases that have more than about two um, Sentinel missiles, then I need to stay with the heavy version of this. If I think that I'm going to hit a lot more bases that have the uh, Cerebus rockets, then I probably want to switch this to the new armor that helps with the explosion defense and, and get um you know maybe get a sixty percent explosion defense or something like that and then over time the rippers get changed out to siege cannons um, problem is the siege cannons take over a day maybe like a day and a half per gun on a boat so what I 
some people that I know that have dreads and they have the see they have these blitz fleets. They build it and they built the first one probably with all siege cannons and then they learned really quickly don't do that. It takes too long to build a ship. So they build in stages. They start out with rippers and then over time when when they don't have a lot going on, they'll change out one gun. They'll change out one gun to a siege cannon. And then um and that way any ship of their fleet is only out of commission a day or so, a day, maybe a day and a half. And they can keep playing the siege cannons and the rippers, they have the same range. And then over time, you know, their ship gets more siege cannony and less rippery, but it's still playable the whole time. So my goal is to in the next raid is to take out the fleets with the sea scorpions or the sea wolves, it doesn't really matter now and then uh, use this for the turrets and target like 31, 34s. Um, that'll be the safest and hopefully my mom gets the um, solid fuel boosters 3s and maybe she can take out the ships and then I can take out the um, uh, the turrets and then we can actually do it a whole lot faster because I either don't have to kill off my ships and then here's another plan if I don't get five of these what I will probably do if I want to take these bases faster is I will take one of these guys not the ones with the salt mortars take one of these guys and mix it in with the other ones and then so on a 31 let me just show you um, let's take this you might already know this but if you go to a 31 there's a bunch around me usually. If you come in from the dead bottom, and this works on a 34 too, it's just that I don't know if there are any 34s around me. In theory, they ought to be. There's some people that I think there's somebody that should burn, so generate a 34, but they should work the same. You, you take it in from the straight bottom, immediately turn them around bring them all the way down here and if you center them up well the dreads will come straight down the middle so actually we probably want to shift them a little bit so that the dreads actually shift over a little bit and then um, so what I would probably do is take one hammerhead and then the rest um, cease no, not sea scorpions. What are the new things? Strike cruisers. Um, take like four strike cruisers. Bring them all down here. Then what I would do is I would take the one hammerhead. I would turn it around. Take out these ships. And then take the strike cruisers to take out the turrets. And since the strike cruisers have engines three, the hammerhead doesn't. Even if I even if I do like a re the really fast clicky thing. Um, Oh, well, that's kind of dumb. They're just going to pivot. Um, it won't matter because the hammerhead will never actually catch up with the rest of them. Okay. As it does this next little <laughs> turn. <laughs> uh, I'll show you this. And you'll see they don't even take any... The uh, These ships won't, wouldn't take any damage. What I would what I was doing on the raids was I was using my um, hammerhead with the siege missiles and then the sea scorpions, and even if I was doing a 31, which I didn't do very many because the repair time was, um, I had twice as much repair and not twice as many points, so to me a 28 was more cost effective, but a 31 would have got me there faster. I think I I actually did the math. I got I have written down on a 31. I was getting 150. I know 175,000 points for the entire thing. On a 28, I was getting 114,000 points for the entire thing. So you get an extra, you know, 60,000 points, which is only like a 50% increase. But I was causing. Uh, two to three coins of damage versus one coin of damage for the hammerhead fleet. So I was it wasn't really worth it to me. But I think with the strike cruiser, because it has the, it'll have the layered armor, it'll have the missile defense. Um, and the engines get it in there faster, the rip it, the rippers kill the short faster. 
I should take less damage uh, because I will kill the turrets faster and I have more buffing against the type of guns that they have. So I expect at some point they're going to put some mortars on these things so you can't just sit there and shoot at stuff. Um, in all reality for a blitzing fleet that wouldn't matter anyway because even with the siege missile fleet um, I would generally run them on auto because what I would do, let me show you, if you kill one and then if you send in your fleet on the side where the where the the one you know so you got two up here and then you got this one's gone and so this one's left this is a one by itself if you send it in here it's gonna come up here go here 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 now if you send it like here it's gonna wobble here 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 the problem is when it comes up here it's gonna come up here and shoot here both of these are shooting at you when you get to here all three of these are shooting at you. So, and if you have, if you keep four, then it's gonna do that sort of hovering in the middle. It's gonna wherever, however it comes in, at some point it's either gonna split the fleet, which is the other thing I really didn't like when it was doing. Um, so if you come in from this angle, then the the fleet never splits because it does a little does a little S move, a little backwards S, and. Um, and and I autoed m almost all of those because um, I was allowing up to one coin per 28 that was kind of my budget which I went way under uh, because I used my CUDAs for some when I was helping my mom I would use my CUDAs and when they were underwater I would go distract the guns of the turrets and um, while her ships were killing out the actual turrets and stuff but in all reality, my the Kudas killed off half the turret by itself. So anyway, we just let that sit. But you see, he's on the last one, right? And um, he's not getting shot at. That was actually the whole point we came in here. So the idea of those sort of ships kill off the fleets, and then the uh, cease, then the strike cruisers. There's a lot of stuff with S's. The strike cruisers come in and take out the turrets. Um, Anything else going on? Just started layered armor three. I think I already showed you that. Um, oh, ooh, let me show you this. I've been killing cargo like it's nobody's business, and I am I am halfway through a siege mortar blueprint. <laughs> I actually got two pieces yesterday, which I was totally psyched about. And um, but I had three other things burning, turning, whatever, and they and the, I wouldn't get any pieces for the siege mortar until they all finished, for whatever reason. Um, yeah. So and then my second siege mortar piece, I was like, oh sweet, I got a second siege mortar piece. No, it started a new one. So and then I just got that yesterday. It started a new one of those. So that actually, whenever that finishes, I'll be done with those distractions. Because I'll have all the rockets by that point. So, I still can actually start one more blueprint. And um, so, when this is done, we will either start a strike cruiser fleet with mortars, or we will go back and we will refit these guys that have been sitting here forever waiting for siege mortars. These guys have been sitting here forever. Um, we might go back and do something with these guys. We probably still will. What I will do with these is, is whatever I do with the strike cruiser, that will be designed for a certain type of base with mortars. And then I will take this fleet, and I will, and I will also use it for siege mortars. But I will design it for a different type of base, maybe a different special, maybe a different armor, something. And then I'll have three actual, well I also have the blitz fleet which may or may not have the armor yet I have three or four actual fleets for bases but all very different and all very and so you can pick which ship you, which fleet you need for the type of base you're trying to hit so that's me in a nutshell I actually budgeted uh, um, 10 bucks for the game, I got 100 coins spent 20 of them well I spent like 25, I think I had like 5 or 6 coins 
already. Um, so that, that worked out pretty well. I played the game off and on, so there was a lot of times where the hammerheads, um, I knew I was going to be offline for a couple hours, so I was like, well, let me just go hit a couple 28s with the hammerheads, let them you know, damage up a little bit, and then just let them naturally repair. You know, if you're going to hit and miss the raid like that, but you have the power to sort of get points, you know, you can just plan when you're going to do your repairs. And, um, and then you don't have to coin very much. But in all reality, I was um, I skipped an outing with some friends that usually is like a lot of food and a lot of drinking. Uh, usually costs like 40 bucks or something. I didn't go to that, so hey, I saved 10 bucks. Um, that's about everything. I was going to show you uh, in the Ultimate Shipyard what that'll end up being, but I uh, I couldn't get that to load this morning. So anyway, I'll uh, talk to y'all later. Good luck with the raid. Start focus. Start build. If you didn't do good on the raid start fixing your ships now right now get the ships ready for the next raid it's on, it's probably going to be in 30 to, it's probably going to be in 30 days or less right it's probably going to be this time next month you don't have a lot of time make some make maybe make some sea wolves with some rippers and some layered armor and some in, in, engines or um you know if you don't have solid fuel booster 3 we'll work on that um you know, figure out some ships. Talk to some other people of what they're what they're using, uh, and um, plan plan your raid ships well in advance of the raids. Um, if you only have to do that like one time, and then once you get your first ship, a lot of times raid ships can help you get other raid ships. The Kudas have helped me get the Goliaths. The I haven't yet built a Goliath, so that's a mute point, but. I use the CUDA sometimes this time, and you know the strike cruisers next time are going to help me get the next ship. You got to you got to get over that hump of that first ship, um, and a fleet of Sea Wolves are nice. Sea Wolves with Titanium One keep the Master Fixer on re, you know ship repair, and um, and you can do this without spending a lot of money. Um, now, if you don't have like a not this one. This is what I use to take out the turrets, because the because the um, the sea wolves weren't cutting it. But you could do it with sea wolves if you had like rippers or thuds and um, with engines, maybe some auto loaders. I'd probably like do layered armor or something, and then um, and then you might have to coin some of that. You know, and if you don't have a credit card, that's fine. Go to you can go get a little uh, Facebook gift cards or something like that, that you pay however you normally pay for stuff with, right? Cash, and then uh, you don't need big ones, you know, twenty bucks or less, right? And you can get yourself a ship. If you play the game a lot, what's well, twenty bucks? You know. So uh, anyway, I've rambled on long enough. Talk to y'all later. Bye.